Alright, so here's a quick update on my 37 gallon tank. Uh, and I've kind of made this a South American trying to make it a breeding tank. I picked up some German blue, blue rams. They looked pretty dang good. Uh, that's my female right there with her pink belly. The lighting is not very good right now. I don't know why. But there's my male. I've seen them kind of make a pit over here. Uh, hopefully they'll breed. And I put uh, my Epistogramma. I mean, when I bought them, they were, I was told they were uh, Vegeta rednecks. So, and I, I've kind of heard some people say they might not be. So, I, I mean, I don't know. But they're Epistogrammas. pH in here is like six. And I'm hoping, you know, these guys start breeding and just to see if I can do it. Uh, these guys are, are pretty sweet. I'm feeding them some live food right now. I found a, a one of our, my local fish stores has uh, live brine shrimp and live black worms. So I'm going to see how that works. And, uh, you know, just hopefully these guys will, will breed for me. I kind of, you know, I got the divider in the tank. And I want, I, I'm going to put more plants in here, I guess, over time. Just kind of see how it goes. If... If I don't like this and these guys don't really end up working out, I'll probably move uh, my para or my catapuncatus and just make this a tank for them. Or make it just another Tanganyikan tank. Uh, but right now I'm going with South American cichlids and just see uh, see how it goes. See if I can get these German blue rams to breed or these epistogrammas to breed. Uh, I'm hoping so. I put some caves in here, right, and some plants. So uh, we'll see how it works. Thanks.